Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Yeah. Nice to see you again. And I'm glad that that you're, you know, coming back to do this this really cool sounding course with us. I was just, yeah, curious about how how it all began and and like what attracted you to crystals to begin with. So I think I've got the experience that lots of people have. And I am blessed in a way to be in the UK because that experience is more available to me which is walking into certain shops as a child seeing crystals kind of having that curiosity but I'm literally I'm from the west country and Stonehenge or Avebury those areas would have been my morning dog walks so I was always oh, seeing wow. the megaliths as part of my childhood then going to somewhere like Glastonbury and just every other shop's a crystal shop isn't it so yeah. for me it was much more of a yeah, everyday thing than I think it is for a lot of people mm. where it's almost a choice to go into these places and experience this kind of new world and I can't help but notice the crystals behind you so I think I see a crystal but oh, there's even more because your head was black I know if I, yeah <laughs> so is this like your home altar setup or what am I looking at yes yeah, so this changes they're my some of my favorites my altar's here so I'm sorry, it's oh. out of screen, just there. <laughs> and the way I've got it set up is I've got myself a cabinet where I'd open it um, when I want that kind of connection. So goddess energy as well. If I want that connection, I would open the cabinet. Um, but these are almost some of my faithfuls that I've had for years, especially, can you see the green one? I don't want to do that thing where I look like pointing at my head. Top shelf. The in pillar. The That's it. Yeah. Yep. The tower is a moss agate. And it's all about connecting you to nature, which again, when people were indoors more, Moss Agate was one of the most popular crystals because you can imagine that was the energy people were asking for. One next to the yellow candle, if I move like that, is a yeah. blue kyanite. That for a Christ, um, psychic development community is a very, this is a big one as well, but actually for a group like yours, I would suggest to go big for, with a blue kyanite. It's all about once you've received psychic skills, being able to confidently share what you're receiving with other people. Because I don't know about you, but I find if I receive information, the biggest milestone that I think I had to get over was sharing that with others without feeling that that's a, a weird, super woo thing to do. And then also yeah. learning to receive it and then say it in a way that's, the most useful for that person and would make sense rather than just getting lots of information and sieving through it so yeah for, for college of psychic studies that would be the crystal that I would suggest for sure good to know I'm taking notes <laughs> so the the course is um it looks like it's broken down according to goddess and crystal so each week you're going to focus on a different one is that right it is I love both energies so for me crystals are energy tools so if we want to access a particular energy there's a crystal for pretty much everything and the goddess energies and the deities are the same there's someone to go to for everything and crystals therefore because they raise our vibration to a particular frequency if we're struggling to connect they'll help you get there they're like a bit of a, a bridge between the two because mm -hmm. it can be quite complicated to be sure that you've connected to that particular energy and as I was writing the course I did the classic I was starting to sort of I knew who I wanted to talk about because they have crystals that also would be the easiest to go right this crystal and I understand why works for this particular goddess deity but then I realized there's a nicer way of doing it so through the the course each week we'll start with the more esoteric energies so the ether energies and work our way through so we end up with earth energy goddesses and of course the crystals that match so there's almost there very much will be an idea of understanding where we are right now and using working with the goddesses to heal anything that's going on for you at that moment in time progressing releasing the old and then finishing with like the manifesting so you've created that space to bring things in and then the goddesses like Lakshmi, amazing for manifesting. We'll finish with that kind of energy where it's it's a bit of a New Year's feel. It's perfectly timed to be like we're coming to the end of the year. Let's heal the old. Let's decide what we don't need for next year and then start that. Like, where am I going? Who can support me as I go into next year? 
Perfect. Yeah, sounds lovely. And um, okay, and you said you had some crystals you wanted to show me. So yeah, I'll, um, yeah, you wanna... I have a bit of a show and tell, and it's classic me. I was looking at who I could show, and then I've ended up with quite a few. <laughs> so week one, we're doing ether, and the goddess for ether for me is Sophia, goddess Sophia, which some people see her to be the divine feminine version of God. So where he like they she's worked with him to to create the universe but she's more about the conscious and the energy of the actual creation so she really connects to the om and the, the first sound and that that first moment so there are crystals that have the energy of the om an absolute pure peace so separately i recommend these if you want to get into meditation if you want to relax the mind for psychic skills because that's key as well isn't it getting rid of the day and the busyness so you can receive information right so this is so I would not recommend I'm, I'm showing you the raw version because it's absolutely stunning and very oh, wow. unique this is called skull sight it is very hard to look after skull sight like this you can imagine even sending it through the post if you were going to order it or something it's hard so do consider that one day. Mine is kept in a dome because it's so fragile. So I know that sounds a funny thing to suggest to get a fragile crystal, but other versions of it are polished like this. So mm, you can imagine nice. that's a lot more obtainable for people. And if you were, if when we work with it, it's all about holding it in a particular way in the hand, calms the brainwave states to the point where supposedly we're meant to be able to feel the OM that complete stillness which I think most people can understand that straight away like understand what would happen going from completely relaxed we go to the other energy so Lakshmi the manifesting goddess and she's meant to be able to do that in every way you could imagine and she actually teaches us to not necessarily just go for the ob obvious physical manifestations but the like spiritually, how can you be happy? Like go higher than that and really explore other ways, other things you want to manifest. And for her, rutilated quartz, can you see the gold within that white quartz? That's yeah, the can. rutiles. And rutilated quartz is a manifester because it's already manifested the rutiles. So yeah. it's got that it's a really nice, clear way of explaining it to people as well. So when we work with that, we are really... Like it's like a magnet bringing things into people so that's the one so that's the one we're starting with that's the one we're finishing with and then the rest of it I'm going to leave as a mystery for the course but I've got you some other ones just more general now this beauty she's not on the course because she's a bit more of a general goddess crystal can oh, you cool. see she almost has the energy so she's literally called goddess stone but to me she also looks like modern abstract art I think that's yeah it does that. yeah and you would work with goddess stone if you're not sure what goddesses you want to connect to because she attracts to you the energy or the wisdoms and the knowledge you need to understand who would suit you so you would work with her keep her with you then the universe is going to start showing you in your everyday life you know bring up information when you find somebody you're like okay that's what my interest is she'll help you again calm at the level of so calm you keep you calm so you can connect but it's more like it's the level of energy you need to get to that goddess so she's quite mm. specialized in in that kind of work if that doesn't attract you though and you're just starting off with the idea of wanting to work with goddess energies our ancestral themed crystals are quite a nice way to start tapping into our lineage what our ancestors would have connected to sadly I don't have petrified wood I'll start with that one and I'll show you ones I've got in a minute petrified wood is for one it's not a true crystal it's literally wood it's crystallized wood the first crystal my granddad ever showed me it's absolutely stunning it's the first crystal I ever saw and its property is as easy to remember as it's it's wood and therefore it's the family tree and that's what it ah. does it helps us it's nice isn't it it's got a real logical okay so we would go to that when we want to explore our actual lineage our family tree similar bloodstone oh nice Often, yeah so this is a brazilian bloodstone 
this bit here is probably the most so normally there's green and red so if you were sourcing one I would focus on that area that's the most common mine I've gone for a lot of red in my own one for whatever reason at that moment in time but that again you can imagine bloodstone bloodline then it works with us that way and just having them around you will help you it's just that acknowledgement it's a bit like a talisman I'm putting this on display because my intention is to make those connections and then if you like, so this is Prisley Blue Stone, which Ooh, is... Oh, in the skull. <laughs> skull. yeah. That's one of the crystals slash rocks that made us make up Stonehenge. So again, oh. straight away, we've got that connection where we're like, okay, I, I can almost imagine the pagan energies with this particular crystal. Found only in one location in Wales, in Prisley. And yes, even if you're not attracted to anything I've said and you like skulls, you can imagine that's the energy of our ancestors' wisdoms that have come before. So you could pick a shape instead as well. Well, thank you for that sneak preview. That was awesome. Um, so just so people like aren't feeling overwhelmed, they, they don't need to come to the course with all these crystals already, right? Mm -hmm. Not at all. And Brownie points it like, come along with no crystals. Don't worry about that. Because especially like people that are attracted to College of Psychic Studies. And if this is your first day of even getting involved with the business like your own, I'm going to show you how to access the energies because we don't need to own every crystal. Imagine Reiki energy. With crystals, we can do something similar where we can connect into a particular crystal's energy and bring it in and throughout that's exactly how I'm going to work because I'm going to presume that people don't have crystals and I think it's nice as well to you know there are days where you'll need a particular crystal once and you'll never need it again so it's nice to know how to access that crystal on that day yes if you've got the crystal brilliant week one I'll show people the difference between having a crystal and not on how we'll navigate the course either way and if you're going to have a crystal, go for the one that shouts at you. Just find one. The list, isn't it? It's on, on the booking form. We've got the list of each week and what crystal's there. So maybe pick one if you want to. Or if you want something to hold, the other way you can do it is to have clear quartz. And again, I'm going to show everybody on week one. You can hold clear quartz. You can program it. So you can choose that crystal to have the property of another crystal for that week. And I'll show you how to oh. cleanse it. And then the following week, it will become a different crystal. So there's lots of ways oh, wow. around it. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then equally, if people don't have experience working with goddesses or they don't know a lot, um, that's that's fine as well. Absolutely fine. And I connect to goddesses like they're friends and wise energy. So you don't have to have, don't feel like there's got to be a religious take on it or like an ancestral connection to be able to connect. They're very much also archetypal energies. So when we're struggling in a particular area, I mean, especially Lakshmi, the final week, like, why am I not manifesting? What's going on? Like you can bring on this wise energy to show you what's going on. So definitely you do not need and enjoy because if you don't know it's that day one, just trust that you'll pick up the information that's the right for you at that moment in time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it sounds super fun. <laughs> I'm sure you. everyone is going to enjoy it a lot. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Oh, I should just mention when, when it is and stuff. So this is Goddesses and Crystals. It's a six week online course starting Wednesday the 1st of November 7 to 9 p.m and like you said it will take us up sort of toward the end of the year so it'll be a nice way to close off 2023. Yeah it's definitely a course no matter what it could be that you're someone who comes to the end of the year and always likes that moment to decide what they want to leave and then bring into a new year but it is going to be it's set out now to also do a healing because the actually the goddess energies and how they work they go from that realization the insights heal there's so many of them that are healers and um, one that we're going to cover that's one of my favorites Quinny Quinny Yin, the ultimate mm -hmm. compassion yeah. forgiveness she's in there gorgeous gorgeous energy even saying her name is meant to be healing in its own right 
and then we'll move through to the releasing of that old, creating what's phrased as of the void. So you've got space, and then we'll fill it with the manifesting energies. Is there anything else you want to say? I think we covered a lot. Yeah, and I know it's a very unique course. It's something quite different, and people may have never considered working with crystals to access goddess energy before. So if you have questions, I know College of Psychic Studies is super helpful. So please email them. And you'll let me know when you are send a reply for them. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, we'll be in touch if any questions come in. Brilliant. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> I'll speak to you again. Yeah. yeah thanks so much. <laughs> Bye.